Greetings, weirdlings. I'm Danny Danger, and this is my pull list for January 21st. The ladies of the kitchen are back with more muscle and wit in the kitchen number three. Plus, we'll find out more about the sisters and their mob boss Irish older brother. Older brother? Younger brother? Brother. They're related. Presumably by blood. I kept saying I was going to drop all new X Factor, but I kept buying it, I kept reading it, and I kept giggling at it because, I mean, let's face it, we all know me, I cannot not read an X story. Now that issue number 20 is the last issue, I'm really sad, even though I was gonna drop it. Bucky opens a wormhole to the future in Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier number four, which sounds like it might be silly, but it's actually going to be very cool, and I'm gonna check it out to see who makes an appearance. Intersect number three comes out this week, and while I'm really excited for the single issue, I'm gonna wait till the end of this story arc before I actually read each individual issue because it's really heavy. Now, normally with something like that, I would just wait for the trade to come out. I mean, why wouldn't I pick it up in the trade? Single issue sales determine a lot about a currently running comic book, like whether it actually makes it to trade or whether it's canceled. I don't want this to be canceled, so I'm definitely gonna buy it in single issue even though it's not how I plan to read it because that helps me and the creators tell the publishers that they're doing a really good job. In Loki, Agent of Asgard number 10, Thor stops by classic Loki's apartment to talk to him about kid Loki. Brother, you must stop this evil doing for the children. Child, the one child. He can replicate. Children! Mal and Molly sneak away for a date while the rest of the Lumberjanes try to get as many boring badges as they can in issue number 10. Diana and Big Barda team up in Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number six, and I'm really excited because they are arguably my favorite DCU team up. I kind of wish Barda had been on the cover though. Speaking of covers for this series, do you have any thoughts on the covers for this series? Because I'm not crazy about them. Some of them are kind of weird. Number two is really good. Spider-Woman may have to sacrifice her own life to do the superhero thing in Spider-Woman number three. I mean, I seriously doubt it because I would like to think that her dying would be like an event, not a three issues in, surprise! But still, tension. Will the remaining two gods show themselves before Ragnarok in The Wicked and the Divine number seven? I really liked the last issue, particularly the conversation about how gods are not meant to interact, only to influence, cause that's some bull I would totally be Lucifer. Not being able to have your own self-identity or meaning past humanity when you have all those powers, that's just, I would be Lucifer. Also, all new X-Men number 35, Red Sonja number 14, and Wild Blue Yonder number six. Ba-bam! This Friday the 23rd, I will be at PAX South. I've got a 7.30 p.m. panel, Women in Geek Girl Media. You should definitely come check it out. Also, if you haven't already seen it, I had the immense pleasure of being able to interview Megan Levins and Jamie S. Rich about Madame Frankenstein and Aries and Aphrodite, among other projects. Check it out, main character channel. I'm glad to see you back too. And I'm also really excited for the Batgirl Purple Rain variant because that's that's kind of amazing. That's awesome. Did you see the Magic Mike Justice League variant where Superman doesn't have a belly button? <laughs> I died. Tom Ray Star Wars did come out last week and I did put it in my poll after we filmed. My bad. Reborn8303 was a little concerned about the freedom of creative expression after last week's Batgirl episode. And I do understand, but I think there's a little confusion. Uh, freedom of creative expression to me means that I have the right to express my opinion and no one can legally come and physically hurt me or threaten me to keep me from expressing my opinion. It doesn't, however, excuse me from responsibility for what I say and it doesn't uh, mean that people can't criticize me or express their opinions about what I say. This public service announcement brought to you by Weird Girls. Opinions, we have them. <laughs> I'm not telling you how to live your life, but you should really like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm just saying, it's advice. I'm not being bossy. Do it now. Special thanks as always goes out to Austin Books and Comics. We love you.